Today we're going to be discussing silencers. Stick around. This is going to be fun. Silences typically, uh, thanks to Hollywood, are thought of as a little tiny contraption um, that a bad guy threads onto a 44 Magnum revolver and sneaks into a, a dark and smoky bar room and um, you know takes out six or eight people and uh, throws it underneath his cloak and sneaks out the door and um, that's about it. Uh, unfortunately, Hollywood has done some disservice to sound suppressors, and uh, today we'll, today we'll talk a little bit about some of the uh, some of the reality related to them. The first thing we should really discuss is how a sound suppressor works. Um, there's nothing magic about it. It's all physics. It's all science, and it works very very close to the way a muffler works on your automobile. And the reduction in noise is about the same too. They don't make anything absolutely silent, uh, though some are very very impressive. But if you think of it like an automobile muffler, it's going to help you understand it quite a bit. If you run a car on open headers, uh, or you, you go to a raceway, or a dragway, and you listen to some of these loud automobiles, and uh, then you put a muffler on and listen to it with that, uh, that's a fair comparison. There's still noise there, but there's not enough noise to, to bother absolutely everybody uh, in the surrounding area, uh, and it's probably not going to be dangerous to your hearing either. Okay, sound doesn't translate. Uh, when it comes to the use of suppressors too well over video, uh, but we're going to see if you can uh, hear the difference in this. This is a GSG 1911 22 long rifle. Uh, we're firing standard ammunition and with no suppressor, this is what you're going to hear. Okay. We'll fire another string of 10 rounds uh, using the same ammunition. Uh, the only difference will be the addition of a Gemtech Outback sound suppressor. Okay, so now let's try that with the suppressor. Amazing stuff. There are actually several positive uses to sound suppressors, and uh, this might surprise some of you. Uh, a lot of you, obviously, it won't. But uh, we use sound suppressors in training quite a bit, especially when we're starting with new shooters. Um, extremely beneficial with children and ladies who have never handled firearms before under a, in a controlled environment. And uh, once we, uh, we put a, a can on it or a suppressor on it, and it tends to lose that intimidation factor. And when that happens, uh, they, they don't associate the noise with pain and with recoil and so on and um, it really helps them focus on their shooting fundamentals and, uh, and it allows them to become a, a better shooter you know, right, right off the bat rather than uh, to have a flinch to have to contend with later on. Range safety. Range safety is a, is a perfect reason to use sound suppressors. Um, and I, one example that you'll, you'll recognize right away is that the range commands are much, much easier to hear. If there's an unsafe condition on the range or downrange or anywhere in the area and they have to call a ceasefire, uh, it's much, much easier to hear if you don't have any hearing protection in uh, than if you have all kinds of different levels of protection so uh, you don't damage your ears. Health is a terrific reason to use a sound suppressor. It's something that you very seldom hear associated with it, but it makes perfect sense. If you bring the noise level uh, down below that threshold of pain, um, it's also coming down below the threshold of damage. Uh, if you were on a job site, they would mandate that you use uh, uh, hearing protection if you're using a ram set gun or a Hilti gun. Um, so take care of your hearing. How many old gunners do you know? And uh, the most common word that they use in their vocabulary is, what? Huh? What? That's from hearing damage from uh, you know long-term exposure to shooting a lot of firearms. Huh? Uh, something that's going to show you a little bit more difference uh, and, and it makes a lot more difference in person is a 9mm from a pistol. Um, it makes your ears ring if you're not using anything at all. Let's fire a few rounds from this uh, unsuppressed and then we'll follow it up with the same number of rounds uh, using a, a suppressor. This is 147 grain uh, federal ammunition.
Okay, let's get the can. We've added a Silencer Co. Osprey suppressor. Let's see if you can hear the difference. Same ammunition, 147 grain federal ammo. The only difference, the uh, Silencer Co. Osprey. I think that'll be clear. Okay, here's one for you. How about just plain being neighborly? Um, nobody's bothered by your shooting. How many times have you gotten a new firearm and you want to try it out? UPS comes late, UPS comes early. You live in an area where, the, where it's safe and legal to shoot. You have your own impact area, but you don't want to shoot because you know that uh, somebody's going to be calling the cops or the game wardens or somebody and, and it's going to start a, a, a ruckus. Well, if you have a suppressor, um, it isn't a problem anymore. Even though they don't work like they do in Hollywood, they're not going to bother somebody you know that, that, that isn't in your immediate vicinity. And in a, a lot of areas, from what I understand, uh, different parts of the world where suppressors have not been demonized by, you know, our Hollywood, it's uh, almost considered rude and obnoxious to use a firearm without a suppressor. And the way they look at it is, why would you allow a, an automobile, uh, you know, to be run without a muffler on it? All you're doing is bothering everybody. And there's no positive byproduct that comes from the noise. The noise is just the noise. So if you can, mus if you can muffle it, um, you're that much better off. And how about... It's just plain fun. Uh, a sound, using a sound suppressor on a firearm is nice. It's nice to be able to talk uh, like, like I'm talking with you. It's nice to be able to talk to a fellow shooter and, and relax. You don't have to have things stuffed in your ears or, or cones on top of your head. And you can communicate like a normal human being. Uh, so they're, they're just nice. Once you get used to uh, firing a firearm with a suppressor on it, um, it's awful enjoyable. It's, it's, uh, it, it's something that you enjoy doing and like to do more of. To me, the absolute coolest part about using a sound suppressor is shooting reactive targets with no hearing protection required. Check this out. How cool is that? That's what I'm talking about. I hope you've enjoyed our video today. Uh, it certainly wasn't done uh, or, or meant to be the end-all be-all of uh, suppressor information. Uh, we'd have to record for hours and hours and hours and we'd need a lot more people than me uh, you know, to be able to provide that much information. So we just wanted to put together a little primer about legalities, mechanics, um, and the type of performance that, uh, that you can expect from using one. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, if you did, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, keep checking back. we got a lot of cool new projects going on. Take care.